don't feel like you have a lot to give this year, taking the time to make a package pretty can be part of the gift. Over the years I've saved pretty paper and bows that seemed reusable, and now we have a variety of paper to choose from. And here's a fun way to make tags by upcycling your old holiday cards. You can cut out whatever catches your eye and use a hole punch to attach it with ribbon to your package or just fold it and tape it on. Just make sure that you look on the back so you don't cut up a message from anybody dear to you. Using ribbons made from fabric are nice because they're reusable. And I saved all these curly ribbons over the years, so let's see if I can start finding a use for these. Here I used the ribbon as a sparkly filler to make this gift look more fun. I like the idea of small gift boxes and think they make great presents. Now you can pick a theme and find some items like hot chocolate, marshmallows, well you could even personalize your own mugs. Another idea is making magnet cutout pictures. I love making these for people. They can be really unique and personal. All you have to do is buy a roll of magnet. It has sticky on one side. You put your picture on and basically cut it out. Also, be sure to check the links to this really cute and easy project from It's Always Autumn. I saved these jars wondering how I might reuse them. They would look great filled with gumballs or brightly colored candy or, or whatever sounds good to you. I think with just a little bit of ribbon, they could be a really cute gift. Here's another idea for making an upcycled gift. When we were evacuating, to lighten our load, I took almost every picture out of every frame. And now I'm left with a box full of old frames that need freshening up. And of course, some things were never meant to be taken out of their frames, like this Irish blessing given to me by my aunt. And if you have worn out frames, perhaps they could just be refreshed or painted, filled with new holiday artwork or photos, and maybe even given as gifts. My mom made us this set of personalized napkins. Each one is different. And here she sewed the corners, and you can choose any fabric. I love these little faces. Making Grandma E.I.'s fudge is one of my husband's favorite traditions. We usually eat it, but it also makes a great gift. I think any food or drink is a welcome gift this year, even bringing somebody a bag of groceries. It fills us with the holiday spirit we need right now. You can make your own decorations. Here's a cute set of block letters I found on the internet. It looks like they just cut some wood blocks out and attached some paper with some Mod Podge uh, for the background and then added some letters. These are really cute. Also, ornaments make a good homemade gift. You can just get items to personalize and decorate from a craft store like Michael's, or you can find ways to make your own. Here's a really cute idea for winter display, but you most likely have to get some of these items from a craft store. It looks really fun to make though, and you could make it simple or you could go all out. And be sure to check out the video from Mr. Otter Studio on how to make a six-sided snowflake. There are lots of gift ideas all around us without having to look to Amazon. And while we're upcycling, we're helping the earth. Do what you can to support our local restaurants and businesses and artists during this holiday season. And know that most people just want to be remembered. So the gift of a phone call or sending a photo is enough. Stay safe.